Lydia, we understand from a tweet that your film has made over half a million dollars screening thus far. We keep hearing that theatrical is dead. So how did this happen? Well, we did something very unique with our theatrical uh, distribution. Um, we did it on our own and um, we have, we've grossed over, we're almost at 600,000, but excuse me, that's gross. That's uh, not our take. What essentially we've done is we've done one screening at a time. And what we would do is um, our first really big screening, well, our first, first theatrical screening was in Ashland, Oregon. And we had been in the film festival there and we sold out all our screenings. So we said, okay, this is a great market to go back. Clearly people want to see this film. And we were just so amazed with no advertising really to speak of. Uh, we stayed, they extended us for six weeks. And what we do is we usually, I usually try and show up for opening weekend. I come armed with two 500 flyers and ask everybody to help us spread the word, take 10 flyers and pass them out. And so our, our uh, method has really been word of mouth and we really ask people to help us. And, and then we also do outreach. We do, um, before a film is, before the film is gonna be showing in a city, we'll reach out to outdoor stores, churches, um, any walking groups, um, yoga studios, and we try and do a lot of grassroots outreach. And what we did is each screening essentially funds the next one. And then the other really unique thing that we did is um, I financed an RV, had it wrapped with our, um, our logo, and then I did a whole cross-country tour. I literally went all the way around the country. Um, and there was one section, two-week section, that Annie took on for me, thank God, because <laughs> I was getting pretty tired at that point. Um, but pretty much we went all the way across, around the country. And I'm thinking, we're guessing that I've, probably appeared somewhere at like a hundred different events, a um, hundred different cities and done over 200 Q and A's, something, some, that number. So it's really been about appearing and, and trying to enlist local people to help us spread the word. And I also think there's a real desire in our country right now. I'm, I've heard somebody refer to it as spiritual dehydration a real longing for more meaning in our lives and to go to a movie that's uplifting and inspiring rather than depressing and disturbing. Um, so I think, I think people are ready for that. Do you think that's since the recession because so many people's lives have been really uprooted, they've had to make changes? You know, that probably does have a pretty big effect. And I think too, it's easy to get distracted when you're you're making money and you're getting the new toys and you can go shopping and this and that and then all of a sudden that's not an option anymore you can't distract yourself with more buying more things and um but i think it's also just the natural evolution of our society i think little by little we're people are seeking more meaning and more connection with each other with our communities and with the spiritual aspect of ourselves. There's something I'd like to address. Um, so for me, it was really important to show it in theaters because my intention in making the film was to bring the Camino to people so that they could have a Camino experience just sitting in their chair. It wasn't about trying to inspire everybody to go do the Camino, but it was having everybody at least get a glimmer or a sliver of the lessons and of the magic of the Camino, which would inspire them to do whatever they're meant to do, be it, be it go walk the Camino or open a homeless shelter or spend more time with their grandchildren. And for me, seeing it in a theater was particularly important because it sort of mimics the Camino experience. You're having this semi-intimate experience with a bunch of strangers. And so, and also being on the big screen, you get much more of a sense of being there, of being on the Camino. Do you think theatrical distribution is dead? That being said, I know you, you wanted that, and I agree that I think that that would lend itself, especially for your film. Oh, I absolutely do not think theatrical is, is dead. I think people really long for that night out 
going out and sharing an experience. Um, maybe it's just a subconscious desire to share an experience with people, but I really think there's something very special about being in that dark room, no interruptions, you know, the baby's not crying, the dog's not thrown up, the phone's not ringing. I mean, you're really there to step into that experience. And I think no matter how big our TVs get, you're not gonna have that same experience at home. Having found so much success with the theatrical distribution, what do you think it is that's lent itself to that? Aside from having an amazing film that's very emotional, um, I connected very much with all of your mm. subjects in the film, but do you think it's a snowball effect from other people talking about it or their own personal experiences on the Camino and then seeing it? I think we were very blessed. It was sort of a perfect storm um, in a positive way because we had a film that people, with this film, people can say, so often when you, when you walk the Camino, you come home and people are like, how was it? And it's like, you can't even begin to talk about it. You can't, how do you even start to explain it? And this was one of the reasons I made the film as well, was this way people could say, watch this. That's what I went through. Now, obviously I can't touch on every experience or every person's, but there's some general themes that everybody that walks goes through. And I, I tried to capture as many of those as possible. And so we had that element. So very frequently people come to see our film once, like somebody that's walked, they'll come and see it once and then the next night they'll bring three friends and then two nights later they'll bring you know their brother and their sister-in-law and two other people because they want to be able to share their Camino experience with people and um, there's just been this huge increase of interest and um, of people walking the Camino and so there's a wonderful organization called American Pilgrims here in the US and they have separate pilgrim chapters all over the country. So we worked very closely with those chapters. Um, and so they would get all their friends and they would usually use it as an event to help people that are thinking about doing the Camino. Okay, these are some of the things that you might encounter if you do the Camino. And so we had, we had that going for us. We had the fact that the way had come out previously. So there was literally thousands of people that had gone and walked the Camino from when they saw the way to when our film came out. Um, and additionally, I think that spiritual dehydration, I think people are, a lot of people are really excited about seeing a film where nothing blows up and nobody gets murdered. I mean, it, I, you know, I'm the first one. I, you know, I, I love my TV shows and, you know, kind of escapist movies, but to a point, you know, I really do enjoy something that makes me feel good.